Deputy Minister and Minister of International Relations and Cooperation, Netumbo Nandindaitwa said, human traffickers prey on vulnerable and desperate members of society, especially young people, by enticing them with promises of employment, both inside and outside the country. Therefore, Namibians and anybody else should report suspicious activities because they are protected by Act No. 1 of 2018, which came into force on 6 April 2020, to combat human trafficking. COVID-19 has presented us with many social challenges, including that of people losing their jobs. This might cause the vulnerable and desperate members of society to become prey to the traffickers, especially young people. Trafficking may entice them with promises of employment both inside and outside the country. Care should therefore be taken when inquiring on the job offers or advertisement of employment opportunity that look too good to be true. She added that traffickers are selling people into slavery in exchange for money and do not care, feel any guilt or any remorse when they sell their fellow human beings. Therefore, she said, awareness campaigns should be raised to educate people on all the tricks that traffickers use to capture their victims in order to prevent the increase of trafficking in persons locally and abroad. Information on trafficking in person should be shared widely with all people so that they know the acts of trafficking in person when it is around them. She further added that COVID-19 has presented the world with many social challenges, including people losing their jobs, which can cause people to become vulnerable and desperate for jobs and fall prey to traffickers who are promising them jobs. Josephine Simeon, Nampa News.